I don't think you're going to be surprised. Uh, maybe if this is the first time clicking on my channel, you will be. But if you've been here at least more than once, you're not going to be surprised about what I'm going to say. I'm headed where else but to the Dollar Tree. I cannot believe it, guys. Christmas is so fast approaching. And also, we are into, um, I think, the third night of Hanukkah. And I've got some friends that I've got to get my little Hanukkah gift bags together for, too. So, let me tell you, the Dollar Tree is always the first stop on my checklist. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. So if you want to see what is up at the Dollar Tree or what I am up to, and actually I think I will grab Bill too because lately he is always up for a Dollar Tree trip. Also, uh, we're going to get this car on the road and head out to one of our favorite local Dollar Trees. So I hope you'll come along and do a little Dollar Tree shopping with us. So what do you say? Let's go! And I'm not offended by this. I know many people uh, don't necessarily make it to the end of my video. And I got to tell you, we are going on, um, what, like at least two years, the second year into this project where at the end of my videos, I am always sharing fabulous viewer friend photos, your DIYs, your crafts, your pets, whatever you all want to share. And this time of year, especially the photos are really festive. So in case you are missing that at the end, I just wanted to let you know that uh, that is what's going on too on this channel. And so today is no exception. There are some fabulously festive viewer friend photos at the end of this video too. And just like Christmas magic, here we are at our favorite place, the Dollar Tree. Now both of our sons have birthdays in December, so we are hitting up the party aisle now to see if we can find some fun birthday supplies. For me, the Dollar Tree is the only place to get my party goods because as you can see here, they have banners, they have tablecloths, they have the party favors, the balloons, the napkins, the cups, they have it all and at $1.25 a pop, it sure beats the prices of the items that I find at my local Target. These chair covers are really fun. You could make the birthday person's chair special for the day. I was thinking that'd be kind of cool too to pick one up at the office, but I don't know, our office chairs, I have a feeling it wouldn't fit, but really fun. And I love these foil numbers. These are some of my favorite Dollar Tree products. So you know that is going in the cart. And when we have a cart at the Dollar Tree, that is a bad sign. Or I should say bad for our wallet. I try to only shop with a bag and that way when the bag is full or too heavy for me to carry, I know that is my signal to leave. But I knew I needed quite a bit of stuff probably. This will be my last Dollar Tree trip before Christmas. So I was like, yep, we need a shopping cart. And I know this is the wedding section, but I still like to see what they have because a lot of the stuff you can use for multiple things. And Bill is really trying to convince me to get this chair cover, I think.
Now I have never seen these before. I just really think literally they are elegant. Really would be nice for a Christmas or New Year's gifting. And the same thing, I know this is a bow, but that just screams New Year's Eve decoration to me. And one of my boys is actually born on New Year's Eve, so it's always fun to kind of do a little bit of like combination birthday, New Year's Eve decorating for him. Another favorite aisle, of course, is the Crafters Square. So I need to check out what is new, but I got distracted by these. Look at, they have two of them. So you know, one of those is going in my cart. These are really fun. They're like the unfinished little burlap bags that you can DIY yourself. And then they have these colored ones that are kind of a polyester here, the green, blue, and red. But then look at this, I found these white ones also, and these are 100% cotton. So you could tie dye those. If I had seen those earlier in the year, I would have done little tie dyed gift bags for Christmas. I think it was two years ago, maybe last year, I did the tie dyed socks for all my nieces and nephews. Now these are the wood blocks, which the Dollar Tree has carried before, but now they're hollow. So they were light, really kind of cool. And yes, February 14th will be here before we know it. If you do any Valentine's Day decor, you can find your supplies at the Dollar Tree. And here is another new item for me, this sweet little house on a kickstand. That would be perfect to make your own little countdown to Christmas, I think. And then look at this. It's like a little staked sign brand new and here's one too and this one is a chalkboard fun and different and i was so happy to see these beaded wreaths back in stock and they had a ton of them look at the signs so nice and here is another brand new find look at this you could like cut that apart and make it three separate pieces. These would be great for baby showers, parties, weddings, and this too. That is like a real wedge of log with the twine like hanger stapled right on it. I have to say I was very impressed by that. And do you see what I'm talking about? All the beaded wreaths, it's either feast or famine. And look at this, in the summer I could not find these at all and now there is an entire case of the nautical beaded garlands. These are beautiful and let me tell you they have a lot of weight to them. That would hold down a bouquet of balloons, helium balloons, beautifully but also just very pretty on its own. These bags of shells are mega. I mean, my Dollar Tree always has the shells, but I've never seen the bags with like so many shells in them. Oh, Bill is checking out the scented brooms. Oh, the cinnamon ones, guys, are so lovely but you have to like cinnamon because they definitely are strong. Lots of wreath forms to pick from. Bill likes to check out the electronics. Maybe in the new year, he wants to do some more hiking. And here is another new find. Now my laundry, my washer and dryer is just down in my ugly old cellar, but these signs would be so cute if you had a fun little nice laundry room. But some really nice pieces of decor here.
And I'm telling you, the plate stands again, another must have Dollar Tree product. Now I've seen something similar at the Dollar Tree in the past, but never the thickness of this. And I like that they have graduating sizes of these mirrored in the circles. That's really kind of fun. You could do a cool wall display. I also thought this was a really nice frame. The quality of these seemed very nice and they had three different colors of the wood. And yes, we are going to check out the fridge and the freezer. I thought I would show you guys some of the products. Like look at this Mexican blend cheese and it is a product of the USA. Now this is uh, pasteurized uh, processed cheese food, some of it. So they have combinations of both. Cream parfait, rice pudding, tapioca pudding, all kinds of cold drinks if you're picking yourself up a quick lunch or breakfast. And that chocolate milk is cheaper than getting it at McDonald's. And look at this Mrs. Fields sugar cookies. Now it makes six big sugar cookies. That would be kind of fun if you just wanted a little treat. And you know I've picked these up before for my lunch. I love these little cheese and crackers by Sargento's. What do you have there, Bill? Oh, breakfast wraps. Yeah, he looked though, and the sodium is too much for him for that. So it's got to be a no-go for us. But they looked tasty. They have a bunch of frozen vegetables. This is the first time I think I've seen asparagus spears there. Those are a product of Peru. Oh, and this is a smoothie starter. Not only does it have fruit, but it has spinach also. Now that is a product of China. And look at this. I don't think I've ever seen Fisher Boy fish sticks at the Dollar Tree. And those are from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Interesting. And darn, the Jennifer spring rolls are all gone. Jennifer's garden spring rolls, they're delicious. Oh, and Bill found some Pacific cod fillets. Where are they from? That also is a product of China. We've never tried fish from the Dollar Tree. They have the bonus size toilet tissue, six rolls for a dollar twenty-five. You guys think that's a good deal? Ooh, and Bill finally found his brown paper bags for the luminaries that he's going to make for the night before Christmas. And this is fun. Look at this aluminum pan with the fancy design. And of course, they have the standard solid silver that you can't go wrong with. And I talked about doctoring up brownies. There you go. The, a perfect amount of chocolate chips. Put in your brownie mix. Landry's garlic salt. And that was in a resealable little bag. We love to check out all the different foods. Now, Bill has picked up the canned turkey gravy. Look at this, Pilgrim's Farms. That's a jar, you get more. 
We were curious how that would taste because we've had the Campbell's. And pineapple mustard. Now, I am not a fan of any type of mustard, but that sounds kind of exotic. And this is one of my favorite products. <laughs> yep, in the cart, jalapeno slices. And this is one of my son's favorite products is the Peace Tea, the iced tea drinks. And these have been kicking around for the Dollar Tree every so often I see them. Nice to see them back in stock. We were checking out that shake, but it's muscle milk. 27 grams of protein. That seems like a lot of protein. When Bill was on dialysis, he actually had to be very careful and you could not consume a lot of protein. Now with his transplant, his restrictions are a little bit easier. I thought these looked fun, these wafer cookies. It was just such a solid, like heavy lump of <laughs> wafers. And they had them in strawberry. And then look at this, I found them in chocolate. And then these look really nice for Christmas, those choco biscuits. And then they even had the wafers in vanilla, Vortman. So they had strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Three flavors to choose from. Now we've bought these Hydrate Powers before, but never this brand, Pure Kick. So zero sugar. I thought I would pick up one of those. And this is another favorite of our house, the Lipton Iced Tea. Now I gotta say guys, I was looking at these donuts. I have purchased them before, but these, the uh, best use by date was today. So um, I decided to pass on those because I didn't need to eat a bag of donuts today. And here are the promised, festively fabulous viewer friend photos from my dear friend, Mary Ann. The talent is just incredible. So please enjoy these photos, my dear friends. And remember, until next time, please be well. <laughs>